What's up guys, RetroDont here, and I have a unboxing and a tutorial. So today I'm gonna to be showing you what I got in this box, which is something really special, and how to actually run it. So you probably already read the description already, and it says that this is Shadows of the Empire, Japanese version. So I'm gonna show you how you can play a Japanese version on your Nintendo 64 without modifying your Nintendo 64. Let's take a look. So this is the package that I got from Japan. You can see this is used software, uh, games. Let's see what else we got under here. I think that's 510 yen, the value, or shipping, I don't know. It just says GameSoft, which looks like a copy of probably the packing slip that was in there. So anyway, we see that it's from Hokkaido. So let's go ahead and uh, take it apart. And here we have it, Star Wars Shadows of the Empire for Nintendo 64. So this is my first Japanese version of a Nintendo 64 game. Um, let's go ahead and see what we got in here. Oh yeah, this is awesome. So here we have it, the nice Japanese Nintendo 64 box. It's in amazing condition. I mean, compared to any of the other boxes that I have, so it's pretty awesome. Looks like it also says for sale and use in Japan only and commercial rental prohibited. So, looks like we're breaking the law, everyone. Sorry. So let's go ahead and open this. So just a little receipt here. So the problem with the Japanese versions of these Nintendo 64 games is not the software, it's the hardware, so um, the actual cartridge itself. So these little tabs are going to prevent you from actually sticking it inside of your Nintendo 64. So what I have found out is that you can get a Game Shark or something that can actually uh, bypass this system here and plug it directly into your uh, Nintendo 64 without having to chip off any of these pieces inside of your Nintendo 64. So um, I'm gonna be testing that out after we go through the rest of what's in the box. So we got the tray here. This is surprisingly really nice. And then our manual. So we'll just do a quick flip through here. Obviously you can't read that. Um, screenshots. Um, some button layouts and different things. Battle Hoth. Pretty cool. Nice artwork. Got some Boba Fett action. It's pretty cool. It actually has like a description of each of the levels. I actually don't have my original uh, Shadows of the Empire American or US version anymore. So I don't remember seeing this stuff, but yeah, it is pretty awesome. Got your characters here. For some reason only IG-88 is in English. I don't know, ATSD. Huh, interesting. There's Dash Rendar at. There you go. Luke, Leia, Lebo. Cool. All right, so now that we've gone through that really quickly, obviously, I'm gonna go ahead and pop this into my Nintendo 64 after I plug it into my original Game Shark. So let me go grab that real quick. All right, so here's my original Game Shark. I did manage to get a nice boxed version. So just right on the box, you can actually see the idea that I'm trying to come up with here. So you take your cartridge, plug it into the, the Game Shark, and then plug that into your Nintendo 64. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and try that now. But 
But basically, pop this on it, and then we should be able to pop it in my Nintendo 64. So let's go ahead and pop over and see if it works. All right guys, so here you can see that I have uh, my CRT TV plugged in. So the GameShark obviously loads, so let's go ahead and try the start game and just see if it actually will boot up. We'll do start game without codes. Awesome. <laughs> so there you can see that we can bypass the region uh, blocking system by just using some sort of apparatus to, um, I guess, get around the hardware. So there you go, you can see that the game is running fine. Uh, the only problem is that the flickering of the CRT is really off-putting. So I jumped into a game just to see if it runs okay, and uh, I mean, it's pretty flawless. It's running just like it would. First time I played this when I was a lot younger, <laughs> the way that we got by each level was just ramming the speeder into each object <laughs> because we didn't know how to actually shoot anything down. <laughs> so yeah, if you guys are really interested in collecting Nintendo 64 games, um, Japan has a really good stock of good condition cartridges and boxed games for a really good price, so I would definitely start there. Um, and like I said, all you need is that Game Shark. So yeah, get out there and happy hunting. <laughs>